it is morning. It's a very overcast day today. A little bit cold as well. It's only about 14 degrees down here in Sagarish. But there's no wind hardly today, so I thought I'd come down and give it a try. See how it goes. I've already been down filling up the pond a couple of days ago. And I've just done it again now. But as you can see, it's a very cloudy day. Not the best. There's quite a few birds around. But um, the hide's already set up here. And the pond's looking beautiful. So, anything comes up as always, I'll just let you, sh I'll show it on the video in a while. There's a stone chat up here on the right as well. These birds just don't have any fear anymore because obviously they they, they know the food's coming and uh, they know that I don't harm them and every time I come it brings water <laughs> and obviously a little bit of food that helps. The fox has eaten the antibiotics as well which is wonderful. I put a bit more out for him and hopefully she'll come along today and eat the rest. But in the meantime I'll just leave the green finch and the other and the, and the linnets here eating all the, the seeds that I put down at the front along with the blackbirds which have just arrived in as well. Oh we've got the little sparrows come down. Oh look the baby's trying to get food off the father. Oh gorgeous. It's so nice when they feed like this. Oh, that's so beautiful. Ah, we got the little wren back again. He's obviously become, he obviously likes the place. So few times we see him, and now it's twice I've been here and he's around. Such a tiny little thing, it's even difficult to keep a focus on him because he, he's so small, my point focus, I find it difficult to focus on him, so if he stays in the same area it's actually quite easy to keep him in the film, but otherwise, with his flitty movements, but what a beautiful little bird they are. <laughs> As you can see, they never stay still. Beautiful. Oh, there you go, there's the wren again. Nice little treat. And the feckless lark have come in as well. There's four or five of them just arrived. This is one of the younger ones, you can see by the, the colours on the back. They lose this white on the back as they get older. This is this year's bird. A couple of sparrows as well. Again, there's four of them here now. to have at the pond. It's one of the hoopoos come down. Probably because I've put some water around the edge of the pond, it's made it a bit muddy. And they like to dig up the insects that come up from the mud, so... Oh. Nice little treat to see for a change. Often see them in the distance, but uh, not actually around the pond very often. See? That long beak probes into the soil for the insects. Lovely. Oh, the little curl bunting's just shown up as the sun's come out. That's nice to see. I wonder where she got to today. The fox came running through here just now. She didn't stop, looking a lot better. So hopefully she'll come back with a little bit of food that I've left. Oh well, the, the little fox has finally come along. She's uh, coming, she's coming through the bush today. I put the plate under the bush with some, um, with the antibiotics in the food. She has 
she's gone straight for the, the largest chicken neck <laughs> as she did last time which luckily had the antibiotic and the antiviral in it but just in case but it looks like she's coming back to eat everything I've left her some vegetables a little bit of fruit some peanuts so it looks like she's actually chomping into the the pasta that I've left her as well along with some chicken livers, hearts and necks. I'm so pleased. She's looking so much better. The eyes open again and the scars that were raw on the side of her body or the cuts seem to be healing nicely. So it looks like the antibiotics that I've given her are actually helping her. Is so lovely. The eye is still a little bit opaque, but uh, hopefully that should clear up soon. Oh, that is so beautiful. I'm so pleased she's getting better. As you can see, she's not as skinny as she was before. Even the hair's growing a little bit more now. That is absolutely lovely. As you can see, the, um, the big marks on the side of her body are already healing, which is beautiful. Looks like she's going to completely finish all of the food that I've left there for her. She's obviously enjoying it means she's going to get much stronger. I only put it down now twice a week so she still goes hunting. Otherwise obviously if I keep giving her food she's never going to learn how to hunt for herself. Finches have come straight back down for a drink. I'm so pleased. He's looking. Uh, she's looking so much better now. Right. Well, that's it for today. Um, as you saw, the fox came along. It's beautiful, looking so much better. It's really really pleased that I've been giving her the antivirals and biotics. <clears throat> Not many birds as you saw today. The unusual to have the hoopoo and the wren was a lovely little surprise. Other than that it was just all the, the normal birds for this time of year. Um, still none of the migratory birds coming through. Hopefully the next week, um, beginning of August, they should start to come through some of the migratory birds. Anyway, have a wonderful day. Remember, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for further updates. Have a wonderful day. Bye.